Alright, so hey everyone, it's Funny Animator Jim TV, and I just wanted to um, try and show you how I draw my character, like um, this guy here. So I just wanted to try and show you how um, how I base uh, the process I basically go about because a lot of people ask me how do you draw. So I think my character would be a good way to uh, show a lot of neat things. So first thing I usually do here are all the tools over here. So we have select, reshape. Also, I'm using the vector editor here. So we have select, reshape, um, pen, line, square, circle, text, fill, and duplicate. So I usually start out with a circle for my character. So uh, when I click the circle, I go down here and select black. And then I make the circle like this. And I just center it for no reason. See, you can see the center there. And then I just center it in the, uh, the, um, that that crosshair like that. So I have my circle here. Then I fill it. So I click the fill tool and then I uh, select this uh, col this skin color. Well, what I like to, uh, the color I like to use for skin. Uh, also, you can swap between these colors here. So if you want to select a color, you, the bottom one doesn't change. You can just swap back and forth between them so you have an extra saved color like that. So I'm just going to swap to this one. And then I uh, click the fill can and fill it in like that. So then what I do is I go to the pencil tool and then I'll just save that skin color. Um, I'll select black and then I kind of make like hair or something like this. That might be too... Uh, let's do that again. Also the recorder that I'm using, it might lag the editor a bit. I'm not sure. So I'll just make it Kind of, um, like that. Yep, I have my sideburns. Yeah, okay, so, um, so that looks pretty good. So then we're going to, um, so then to get the color of the hair, the closest one I can get to my actual, the color that I like is this color here. So I just fill that in. And then what I do is I use this eyedropper tool right here, this this tool right here. So I just click it and then click the color of the hair and then I go to this um, I just click this here and then I get this palette and then I click it again. So then that brings up that setting to get that color. So then I just move this around until I get a color that I think and then I can change the brightness just get a color that I think uh, that I like like yeah. That looks good. So I get that color there, and then I just make a circle of it. You might be wondering why I'm doing this, but I'll just make that. And now I'll take my color here, so I'll just eye drop it, and then I'll darken it a bit, and that gives me a darker color. And then I'll fill that into the hair color. And then I will take this circle, and then I'll zoom in a bit. I'll take this circle, and then I will fill out like. Uh, just fill out like the inside of this circle here. I know other people do it a different way, but I'm just using this as an example here. I do it, um, there are several different ways to do shading, but I think it looks good um, like this. Well, I mean, not really, but, you know. Okay, so we could do it like that, um, just to give it like a bit of a glare, but I think I'm just going to fill it in like this. Looks kind of good. I mean, we could um, we could make it so that it's there's a bit less of the uh, of the dark color showing. Let's also make that a bit more like that, you know. And then like this. Like that, that looks good. Okay, so yeah, here is one of the main things in in original characters or what they call them. So uh, the next thing I do is I make a circle of this color of the skin color, the color I used for the skin, and I do that. Then I highlight the color here, and then I make it a bit 
uh, well, I just take the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so I just take the color, um, like that, and then I darken it, and I darken it a bit, and then fill that in for the color here, and then what I do, in order to get this behind the hair, I just use this tool, right, this, uh, button right, this button right here, which, um, lets you go, lets that highlighted object go back a layer, and then I can shape it the way I want it to be, like this. Kind of. There are some people who do this differently, but this is just the way that I usually do it. And then if you want to make it like, want to make this like a bend, then you can just click that and then it makes a new point and then you can adjust it like that. And then, kind of, you, you, sometimes the vectors, these the points can be a bit stubborn and not like make extra like joints or things. So you have to make extra points and then figure out what is working here. So then I'll just kind of make this a bit like that. And then, um, like that. That looks good. Okay. So that's kind of basic shading. And what did I do on here? I just did pretty much that exact same thing, kind of. Bit less. So I'll just kind of make it like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's about for the head. Yeah, I think the head is one of the main, uh, the largest, the most, one of the most time consuming things. So for eyes, I just do simple little dots like that. And then uh, for the body, I make um, uh, also for the head, this is a neat little trick. You can highlight all of it. I just drag over all of it, and then this button right here, group, that makes it one thing, and then you can also ungroup it there, but that makes it one big block, so that's pretty useful, I think, for, like, the head and things. So then for the body, I just, uh, draw it out like this, and then maybe you, um, then maybe tinker around with these, uh, with the tools here, the vectors and I just place it there maybe do some more stuff with these vectors like this um, like that I guess okay so then I'll just fill it in with whatever color I want yes I'll choose red because I don't know I just switch up my colors a lot even though my main is supposed to be orange so then I highlight the pen tool again and then I uh, make an arm like this and it has to be a full arm like that because that's the only way you can fill things in in vector that's that's the thing that most people don't get is that you have to make a fully closed object in order for you to fill it in that's um, that's one of the uh, that's the thing about vector it all relies on these little points here because you have to make the points connect to each other in the end in order to make it fillable yeah. and now we've got this bit of black up here so what we're going to do is make a circle just a circle a plain circle and then make it like that so it just fills in that um, so it looks like it's just one line, but it's actually a whole square, and then we just have the red circle above it. And then we can uh, use this copy tool and then copy that like this, and then just tilt it. Like, see this tool up here? We can rotate it and then put it here, and then you can shift, hold shift, and click this button here to make it go to the very back, and then you can, um, like, like this. So you can just push it there and now for the shading I choose this darker there's just the color of like right darker of it and then I make a circle like this and then I uh, zoom in a bit and then I 
shape it the way I want, like this. Like that, that looks good. This isn't the best uh, drawing I can do. It's not the best quality drawing. Um, let's try and make this a bit bigger. That looks good. Yeah, it's good because I kind of make the head a bit sunken onto this. Just so it looks a bit uh, not as separated. Then for the hands, um, actually let's do this. So I just copy the shade that I made. And then I'll put it like this. Just make it go back a few layers like that. And then I'll use the reshape tool to do this. Yeah, and the reason I'm doing it like this is so that I can put the hands in like this. Uh, sometimes I would go for just like a regular, like, uh, cartoony hand, or I'd do something like this. Like that, maybe. Let's do that. Just an, it's an example. That might look a bit weird, but let's do it. You do it like that, and you can make it go back layers if you want. Like that. Let's do that. And it puts shading on there if you want, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think it's worth too much. And then let's copy it, shift back to make it go to the very back, and then do that. Okay, so that's it for that bit there. And for if you're wondering why I draw the mouth separate, then that would be like for uh, lip syncing like this, which I just have done here. So yeah, that's why I mostly draw the. That's why most of the time I draw the mouth separate from the costume, which um, is usually my thing there. Um, so now for the pants, uh, I would either make a square, which is a bit less time consuming, um, and then I would fill it with something like gray, like this kind of gray, I guess, and then I would make it a bit thicker maybe and then I'd make a line like this and then I would get make another square and get a dark color like that and I'm sorry if I'm moving a bit fast it's just that this I mean this is kind of assuming that you know just a bit about vector I mean I'm, I just I kind of gave you a bit of a bit of tutorial at the beginning but now I'm just kind of shoving it there okay so we uh, there's, there's the pants we'll just group them and then shift click to the back there and now I'll just group it all yes uh, the head is really not looking too great so what I'll do is I'll just make this like that so it looks like he's not like leaning forward and also the hand could be a bit better, I guess. Like that. Um, and then I will group it, and then I'll just make it a bit bigger, like that. So that's usually how I draw my character. This is a much better version of him, but I just wasn't able to do that. I don't know. So then if you wanted to draw a mouth, then I would probably just do like this. Something. I don't know. Like that, maybe. Maybe uh, smooth it out a bit. No, yeah, yeah, if it does like this then just make a new point and then delete the old one. Yeah, you just click somewhere on here to make a new point and then click a point to delete it. So like that, that would probably be good, I guess. So yeah, that's basically the process of how I draw my uh, character. So if you liked the video, then um, give it a like. 
and please subscribe if you would like to. That would be very uh, nice and supportive. Um, thank you. Um, check out my scratch. I hope this helped you. Okay, clean ending. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching this.